Kiki Ariafin. We are so excited to have you here with us. Uh, and now you're in your first year with USC, coming from Stanford, probably the highly, most highly touted transfer in the portal. What made you decide to be a Trojan? Yeah, I think it's honestly, it's home. I'm from LA, so I couldn't really say no to that. And then everything that Coach Lindsay's building with Juju and all my other teammates, I, I couldn't really pass up on that in my last year um, and trying to be a national title contender. Your announcement post was fire. <laughs> <laughs> love how you did it, love how you did it. How have you transitioned mm -hmm. to USC and what do you feel like this type of basketball that the Trojans play is? Yeah, I think the summer is so helpful for like that transition. So now that we've started official practices, I feel like very comfortable. Um, I think the biggest thing is like, I have to like play defense a lot more now. So it's like, <laughs> it's like I'm not just a helper, but like I have to guard mm. guards on the perimeter. I have to be able to switch one through five hedging. So a lot of new like defensive terminology okay. that I'm really excited to hone in on as the season goes on. But I just say, a, a lot faster pace, more freedom with the ball, um, and just honestly just playing basketball and not being very robotic. So that's the biggest difference I've seen. I'm so happy you brought up having to switch one through five because like as, as a post player, like you're not used to always having to get out on the perimeter. Yeah. How has that transition been? It's been difficult. <laughs> like, it's been right? tough, but I think that's yeah. the, the tough moments is where the most growth is. So I've just been honing in on like not getting down on myself and just taking it day by day. Yeah, especially in the Big Ten, there's a lot of like five out situations, yeah. big, yeah. threes, the whole. You'll you'll see it. Um, I was watching some film on you, and I texted Megan. I'm like, do we see Asia in Kiki? <laughs> in her, do you ever get that? Highest compliment. All the time. All the, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, okay. A, it's a great compliment. Okay. I'm super honored. Um, I think that's a comparison I get the most. And I actually met her this summer, and I was just like, mm. you're amazing. I love you. Like my favorite player. Um, and she gave me a lot of great advice. But I just say like I do emulate my game after Asia. I still have like you know I'm still Kiki, but mm -hmm. there's aspects of her game that I do try to implement to mine as well. Yeah. So you've talked about defensively, obviously. Offensively, is there a certain area you've kind of looked to continue taking the next step in? Yeah, I'm trying to get on that perimeter. I'm there we go. Stretch, stretch it out to three, so. You can shoot him. <laughs> Just like, yeah, Asia, Asia's starting to knock down the three. Yeah, so that's something that I'm definitely trying to add into my game and showcase this season. How comfortable are you, like, say you get the ball on the perimeter, top of the key, and just taking it from there? Okay, if it's one dribble, I'm so confident. Okay. Now, if I need to make a, a combo move, mm, I'm probably gonna kick the ball. <laughs> kick the ball. Out. Yeah, well, you got some pretty good people on the, on the right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And get those assist numbers up, right? You're like, so right. Come on, draw and kick. How do you think that you and and Juju will mesh your your games? We're already meshing super well, and I would say we haven't even played that much together. Um, but I think the chemistry, I think we're just hoopers and we're able to play off of each other. She's able to find me, I'm able to find her. So it's only going to continue to get better. Um, I think pick and rolls with us will be really scary. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you guard it? What's the highlight of being home? I can just, oh I'm my thinking gosh. laundry, I'm thinking all the <laughs> home cooked tangible meals. Right. Like, yeah, Honestly, I, 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 there's too many things. Like I think yeah. just having my family, I'm the oldest of three, so having my family just like down the street, having the people that I grew up with, my high school coaches, just everyone like in a close vicinity. And I can't wait for them to all come to my games and just see all the yeah. love. Um, but there's nothing like it playing in front of your family. How would you describe the culture right now at USC? I mean, historic program, but yeah. right now, like the darlings of college basketball. Yeah, it, there's so much hype around us, um, rightfully so. I think the team did a great job last season and we're kind of trying to build on that this season. Um, but I'd say it's great. It's a great place to be. I think our athletics department has like invested so much in women's basketball and just really giving us all the resources that we need so that we can be at the top of our game. Goal this season, what are we going for? Natty. <laughs> it all. all right. That's it, period. Fair, the whole entire thing. Yeah. Um, well, one of a goal I would have is to graduate college in three years. Um, <laughs> you sure did that yeah. at Stanford. Yeah. Um, how? Like, like academically, obviously, very bright. Uh, yeah. Why was it important to you to, to get that done and also, you know, what were you as a major? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at to do maybe after basketball? Yeah, so I majored in product design under mechanical engineering and kind of how you said like Stanford is a highly touted university. So I didn't want to pass up on my Stanford degree. I didn't know if I was going to transfer, but I wanted to have the option to make a decision at the end of the season. Um, but honestly, it's the same, like the same type of work I'd put into my basketball and getting better. I was like, let me dedicate time to make sure I can do my schoolwork, do the extra classes that I needed to so I can finish early. Um, but I wouldn't say it, it wasn't super difficult. It's just like get, oh get on a routine and, and you'll be fine. What's the, <laughs> what's the job like you could do with that degree? What's oh, an example? Honestly, I could do pretty much anything. <laughs> um, uh -huh. But I'm not super sure what I'd want to do. I definitely want to work in sports um, when I'm done playing, um, but I'm not super sure what in what roles I would like to do yet. 
don't need to. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to figure that. The one we answer, don't have the answers. No, we know nothing. We know nothing. But one thing we do want to know, something about Juju that, you know, people might not know out there. She's very goofy. I think when you see her play, she's very serious, but I'd say she's like such a big kid. Like she's full of life, super goofy. Um, but yeah. Yeah. And so. wears glasses to go with the wears business glasses, casual. Yeah. yeah, she's just that girl. Yeah. She is. <laughs> Not that weird.